see Jesus stripped of majesty He hangs disfigured on a tree A man of grief by man betrayed Like one from whom we turn Sacrificial offering Atoning for his people's sin Welcome to everybody. God bless you all. Thank you so much for joining myself and Daughter of Christ today. We're going to be having a special call-in stream tonight. So if you guys uh, click on the link when we post it, you guys want to come in, especially Muslims. We want you to interact on the topics that we're going to be bringing up. 
welcome our sister daughter of christ thank you so much for joining us tonight hello peace of christ with you brother and everyone else here god bless you all um so happy to be here uh and uh, talk about the funny things in islam and uh, yeah trying to get people to realize the silliness of it and for them to come out of it hi to everyone in the chat um especially our moderators i've seen i'm seeing i can see you god bless you for being here yes we appreciate everybody being here we appreciate the moderators thank you all god bless you all so all right so daughter of christ and i will be discussing tonight geckos what that's mm. crazy why are you guys discussing geckos you guys there's a christian live stream you guys are christians what, what do geckos have to do with anything okay so <laughs> we'll explain we'll get into it <laughs> um, so geckos um maybe people don't know what geckos look like maybe english is not their first language or they're not familiar with this animal it's a small lizard but why don't we show them what it looks like daughter of christ okay there we go yeah uh, so, the cartoon yeah yeah Cute little lizard. Uh, depending on where you live in the world, you'll see them like climbing the walls. Uh, they can range from like tiny, tiny size. Um, I think even if they grow bigger, they can. They're smaller than a palm in the hand. It's like a little lizard, the gecko. Yeah. They're cute, and they're harmless too. You know, they, um, around humans, they don't they don't cause any trouble. That's right. They're they're cute. They're harmless. They're, they're very, very small. And this is a, a cartoon figure depicting one. Uh, maybe you are familiar if you didn't know what a gecko was. Small lizard we have on the screen here. Okay, so they also live, like, I think I read like 15 years. Salamanders can live up to like 30 years or something like that. That's, that's a little tidbit of information. It's going to be important. You guys are probably still wondering, why are you guys talking about geckos? What, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> okay, so we'll get into it. We'll get into it right now. And once again, we want to thank you all for joining us. And tonight is a call-in night. So we are going to post the link and we look forward to you coming in. And let's bring it up on the screen here. This is um, one of the hadith that we're going to start with today. Okay. Mm. All right. So... so Brother, you say, why do we talk about geckos? We didn't make them a subject. Muhammad did. <laughs> we exactly. made them the exactly. subject. Yeah. Uh, so we'll get into it now and we'll explain how exactly Muhammad makes it a subject. Okay. So Abu Huraira said, the messenger of Allah said, he who kills... Uh, no, there's going to be some differences in the translation um, here, sometimes you'll see it as salamander, sometimes you see it as gecko. Uh, you see here, uh, they have it as um, chameleon. Chameleon, yeah. Uh, so I thought it was spelled differently, but okay, that's okay. So, a chameleon, um, but we'll just, even though th this says chameleon, what we'll do is we'll just stick to gecko just so, just for the sake of it. So, whenever you guys see it, a different word like salamander or, or maybe they'll say lizard in some translations. I, I, We'll get through it. We're just going to say gecko. So the messenger of Allah said, he who kills a gecko at the first blow, such and such number of good deeds will be rewarded to him. Okay, so whoever kills one of these cute little geckos in the first <laughs> blow will receive such and such good number of good deeds as a reward. Whoever kills it at the second blow such and such number of merits will be rewarded, will be recorded for him. And if he kills it at the third blow, he will get such and such merits. Now, there's another narration of this hadith, and it says, Messenger of Allah said, If anyone kills a chameleon, a gecko, with the first blow, a hundred good deeds will be recorded for him. Less than that will be recorded for him if he kills it in the second, in the second blow. And still less rewards will be recorded for him if he kills it at the third blow. Okay, so daughter of Christ. So if Muhammad is teaching here that if you kill one of these geckos, first blow, like you know, first hit, first swing, whatever, you get a hundred good deeds. If you sec takes you two hits, you know, you get you get lower points, but you still get some points, good deeds. Third, mm -hmm. third strike, third hit, you still get some points, but it's gonna be less than if it was first or second hit. So 
we're understanding this correctly, right? This is what Muhammad is teaching. Yeah, it's basically you have to be efficient. You have to get them from the first hit to get the maximum points. So um, <laughs> you have to practice, right? You, and you have to be really like do a good whack on the first time <laughs> or like use something that is strong enough to to do it on from the first time so you don't have to keep striking it. I don't know why it's a better deed to get them from the first time. Like you get more points. Like I don't understand the game, but that this is the game. And this is Sahih Muslim. So it is Sahih. So 100 points, that, that, that can be a difference you know, on the Day of Judgment um, between mm. heaven and, you know, between paradise and hell. Right. Awesome. Yeah, so if, if, if you missed, if you, if you, you know, those, those arcades, like those gaming places, they have like this game called Whack-A-Mole. Have you ever seen that game before? They have, like, yeah, you whack the, the, um, the head. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> these things. That's what this reminds me of. Um, this reminds me of that. Um, you know, if you if you hit it in the first time, you get a certain number of points. If it takes you two times to get it, you get you get a little lower, but you still get some points. And if you, it takes you three strikes, then you still get points, but it's not as much as second or you know first strike if you were to hit it then. So Muhammad is you know teaching this game of whack a mole um, for the lizards. Now, yeah, go ahead, sister. We got a question from Tiger. How many points must be gathered over a lifetime? That is a good question. And we'll ask that to a Muslim if they come in the stream tonight. So with that being said, we will um, post the link now. So um, to the moderators, if you guys want to, if you guys could, please, um, from time and time again, please post that link to the stream yard so that they can join us. We won't bring them up just yet because we're going to go into it right now. But if they want to start joining now, they can. And then we'll bring them on um, as, uh, as the stream goes on. So that is the link to join for everybody. We want muslims to come join us so we can talk to them about this topic uh but if you're a christian and you would like to join in as well um well we can't stop you so there's the link um okay so this is the hadith that we're going to be talking about today and now the question is why <laughs> why why the geckos like you know w there's already a question about like how many points is like can can you get over a lifetime like how many points do you need over like a lifetime and then what's the deal with, you know, first blow, second blow, third blow? Like, what does that matter? So the question before we get to any of those is why kill this creature at all in the first place? What's the reason for that? And it must, there must be some important reason, right, sister? It must have done something bad, that creature. It must have done something really bad. All right. Now, we'll get into another hadith now. Uh Oh, I guess I give the wrong. Okay, hold on one second. I'm having some technical difficulties. There we go. <laughs> okay. So you see, um, now they translated as salamander, but in Arabic it's the same exact word. So, like I said, you're gonna see some differences in translation, but it's we're just gonna call it gecko. That's what it's being referred to here. Okay. So here is the hadith. Um, as you guys can see, the reference here. Um. The numbers, everything, the books, everything like that. So it's all on the screen. Now it says Allah's Messenger ordered that the salamander, or gecko, should be killed and said it, i.e., the salamander, blew the fire on Abraham. Hmm, that's the crime. <laughs> it blew the fire on Abraham. Hmm, I, I have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Before we get to those questions, let's go into another hadith. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, again, our references are on the screen here. Um, anybody who wants the references, here you go. Okay. It says, Oh, mother of believers, what do you do with this? She said, we kill these house lizards or geckos with it. For the Prophet of Allah told us that when Ibrahim, when Abraham was thrown into the fire, there was no beast on earth that did not try to put it out apart from the house lizard or, or gecko that blew on it. So the messenger of Allah commanded that they should be killed. Hmm. Hmm. So Aisha had a spear in her house. 
brother. Yes. And uh, it's one of the, to kill them. And one of the companions are like, oh, mother, because she's a mother of the believers. Why do you have this a spear, a random spear in your house? And she said, oh, I killed the house lizards with it because they did this. Um, the, the prophet said that. So uh, Muhammad told the story, which is, you know, we don't have that story in the Bible. It's a made up story. Mm -hmm. Apparently, um, the unbelievers put Ibrahim in a fire to kill him. They set him on fire. Um, but Allah rescued him from that fire, um, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, apparently, lots of animals were around that fire, and the lizard was a uh, um on the around the fire, and it started blowing on it, trying to make it hotter. Yeah, this this little tiny this thing tiny here. little thing. Yeah, I mean, um, it's just very strange. This tiny little uh, cute little animal. First of all, how would it know who Abraham is or what the fire is for? Why would it approach a random fire and? Right. What beef did it have with Ibrahim to want the fire to go hotter on him? Mm. Um, does it have like a, a will, an understanding? Does it? Yeah. Does it know what it's doing? Or is does, it just... They decided to sin like against Ibrahim for no reason. Mm. I mean, the questions are, what was it doing in the first place? I mean, the questions are endless. <laughs> question. yeah. um, so, so, um. Right, so so please do join us if you're um, a Muslim in in the, in the live stream. If you're in the audience and you uh, the link has been posted, if you want to join us, we invite you to come and join us tonight. It is a call in night, okay? Now, there are, as as Daughter of Christ said, there are a number of questions, and there are already a number of questions being asked in the chat, <laughs> but there are a number of different areas and ways we could you know approach this. The the question that I want to get to right now is Muslims will often object to us as Christians and the Christian faith and say things like it's unjust or it's unfair that you Christians are sinning. You guys believe that, you know, humans all sin and then Jesus can take that sin on himself. He's innocent. And he takes your guilt, he takes your sin onto himself. And sometimes they even misunderstand uh, original sin or ancestral sin. You hear by different names. Same, it's re it's referring to this this doctrine about like the relationship between humans and Adam's sin in the garden. How does that affect us? Are we guilty because of what Adam did? Or do we just inherit a sinful nature? Often Muslims will object to us and they'll say, well, you guys believe in something that's unjust and you believe that because someone sinned, you guys are all guilty because of him. First of all, I just wanted to read a couple verses in the Bible, starting with Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 39, to show that we believe that there is an age in which a child goes from... Uh, a child goes from... Uh, not knowing the difference between good and bad, and then knowing, and then after that stage, they're held accountable. So we inherit the nature of sin from from Adam. We inherit that nature to sin, the inclination to sin. But when we become guilty is when we ourselves disobey God. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 39, reading from the New King James Version, Moreover, your little ones and your children, who you say will be victims, who today have no knowledge of good and evil, they shall go in there to them. I will give it and they shall possess it. So there's an age in which children have no knowledge of good and evil. And then there's an age in which they have the ability to differentiate between what's good and what's evil. So before I move on further, I just want to pass it over to uh, my sister here. If you have any comments on this so far. Um. Yeah, it makes no sense to me as to why Muslims object. It seems the gecko that did this to Ibrahim is far gone, is dead, and all geckos are still suffering. Now Muslims are running around during the time of Muhammad, killing them because of what one did at the time of Ibrahim. Right. All right, so just one more passage from the Bible that I want to share is from, Deut sorry, from Isaiah. So the first one is Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 39, and this is from Isaiah chapter 7, 
verse 15 and 16. It says, He shall eat curds and honey when he knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the boy knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land whose two kings you dread will be deserted. Okay, so again, we have evidence from the Bible that there is an age in which children go from not knowing good and evil to knowing how to choose between good and evil. They know how to refuse evil and choose good, and they could also choose evil and refuse good. Okay. So that's just clearing up our side of the table from the Christian end, what we believe about the nature of sin and how it's passed on. And are we guilty because of Adam's sin or are we just inheriting a sinful nature because of Adam's sin? We're inheriting a sinful nature because of Adam's sin. And when we become guilty is when we sin. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up and I'm going to some detail on this is because Muslims will object to us and they'll say that it's unjust to say that you have someone suffering for someone else's sins or someone taking on the guilt of someone else's sins. However, we have exactly that going on here with geckos. So, so, so they're suffering for the sins of their fathers. They're being killed and Muhammad commanded to kill the geckos. Why? Why did he command to kill the geckos? because of what lizards or geckos or whatever you want to translate the word did thousands of years no from Muhammad's time thousands of years before Muhammad and Abraham's time which by the way never even happened but because he believed that this happened or he said that it happened he's saying that these geckos today are worthy of death because of what happened back in Abraham's time so what do you think of that sister I think it's stupid from beginning to end. <laughs> I mean, the fact that <laughs> yeah. a gecko, first of all, the fact that a gecko can have enough conscience to hate Abraham and to blow on the fire and to want to cause his death. And then stupid enough, stupidity enough for that sin to cover the whole gecko race that Muhammad gives a, a command to all Muslims to kill them with points, like our brother David Wood said, with points for efficiency. <laughs> um, you get 100 points on the first blow if you kill it, you get less on the second blow, you get less on the third blow, like it's a game. All because hey, their forefathers hundreds and thousands of years ago did it. And not only that, it contradicts the Quran itself in Surah 35 verse 18 that says, no one can bear the sins of another, the burdens of another. And yet geckos, have been bearing the sins of their father. So Muhammad, did he forget that concept? Did he forget that verse or what? What do you think? Yeah, yeah. so we have it on the screen here. Um, chapter uh, chapter uh, 35, verse 18. And no bearer of burden bears the burden of another. Okay, yeah, so, so this is a problem. Is this only applicable to humans? <laughs> is this only, or, is, or can can animals like lizards, like tiny lizards, small lizards, geckos, mm -hmm. can they carry the sins of other geckos? If Actually, it's unjust, yeah, yeah. What do you the think? Arabic doesn't say human; it just it just says bearer. Yeah, right. It could be anything. <laughs> it could be anything. Yeah, that's, right. that's correct. So. <laughs> Does it, but does it only apply to humans or does it apply to everything? And if it applies to just humans, then why would you say that it's something that's unjust when you have it within your own religion to the Muslims? Um, again, you know, we, we have the link out there and we appreciate the mods for posting the link. You guys, uh, please join us, Muslims, if you want to answer some of our questions. We want to know why geckos are being punished for the sins of their fathers. Okay. And the, most, and the more important question is, where do Muslims get off objecting to the fact that Jesus Christ takes on our sins and freeing us from hell that we deserve if they have the same thing, the same rule of punishing all geckos because of what one did thousands of years ago? That's the more important thing. Exactly. Question. Like yeah. they, don't, they don't have a leg to stand on when it comes to people, you know, even creatures who can't even think or act or decide 
they themselves are being uh, punished for another gecko's sin. <laughs> exactly. Right. So yeah, yeah, and and they're living in different parts of the world. They're living thousands of years apart. So all of the, the these ancestors, thousands of years later, in different parts of the world, <laughs> that have nothing to do with what, what, you know, these geckos are accused of doing in Abraham's time, they're be, what they're being accused of. They have nothing to do with it. They're, right. they're born, you know, completely free of that. They didn't they didn't participate in that. But yet, because of that reason, because Muhammad said that there were geckos at his time that were blowing on the fire which raises a whole number of questions, a whole number of questions. We want to know exactly why they're being punished for the sin of their ancestors. So we did have someone join us. Uh, their microphone wasn't working, so they left, but we weren't able to bring them up. But we, we invite um, anyone to please come and join us. Muslims, please join us and just, you know, Let's interact on these questions. Let's address some of these issues together. Frost says, it's possible geckos were a human race at the time, not like the kind of animals we know today. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. That's similar to um, what we were talking about before, brother. Yeah. That maybe I, in the uh... 7th century, something happened to biology, you know, not just for girls who are apparently women at nine years old and six years old, mm. but geckos were actually human and could think and decide and choose right and wrong and sin you know because apparently there's a, a time lapse in the seventh century where we went into a, a vortex of a different reality where things were just different across all species including the geckos but mm. then muslims are advised to kill geckos today so we're back to normal now normal reality now so that doesn't quite cover the reason yeah, so it's it's really it's really simple. Even if that's even if this is, you know, the case, they're still being punished for the sins of you know their ancestors. And <laughs> so let let's revisit some of those questions that you had uh, as we we're reading through it, sister. Mm. Okay, now these lizards or these you know geckos, they're they're blowing on the fire. They're blowing on the fire now. If they're blowing on the fire, how like strong or like let's think about their lung capacity for a second. Like, are they? <laughs> um, so so they're blowing into a fire. I mean, what if aren't so if they're if you're blowing into it, they're gonna be breathing in as well, and this, and their lungs are, are probably tiny. Look at look on the screen; <laughs> they have very tiny lungs. Uh, how fast do you think it would take to you know get that filled up with with smoke and? suffocate them <laughs> they, they can't blow any the, the time <laughs> and why would they approach a fire in the first place they'll get burned they're so they'll small burned. yeah but maybe it was enough that they wanted to you know what i mean it's for the intention <laughs> oh okay the you know intention. so them getting killed by the fire wouldn't have been enough now you have to kill them and all their ancestors that's good. another good question. Good we have another good question on here. Sola Scriptura. <laughs> Very is good point. Yeah. Sola. Yeah, so Sola is asking, is it possible that those poor geckos were trying to save Abraham from the fire? So, uh, you know, imagine like a, like a birthday cake and there are candles on the birthday cake and <laughs> you blow onto them to what? To, to put out the flames, right? So maybe these geckos were just blowing into the fire thinking that they were saving right. Abraham from the fire. And he got it wrong and just you know banished all the all of them and all their ancestors to all this punishment <laughs> because he just mis misunderstood <laughs> misunderstood yeah. their intention yeah. and the hadith says all the other animals were trying to put out the fire how how were the animals trying to put out a fire right, but right. rushing water into the place like <laughs> look it's just it says there there yeah. was no beast on earth that did not try to put it out how mm. How were they no, trying to? No put beast it on earth. Imagine if uh, so. No beast on earth. So, uh, imagine if there was like uh, so ants, dogs, cats. They all rush yeah. to the fire. <laughs> um, oh, there's a chapter in the Quran about the elephant, right? So there. So maybe, maybe the these elephants were even. <laughs> yeah, were, only were, the elephants. Were, yeah. 
But then so, they'd have to go to some water place <laughs> and then store the water in the trunks and come and plant. It's it saying out. all the beasts, right? All the beasts except for the geckos, right? That's what it says. Um, there was no beast on earth, on earth, on earth. Oh, even the pigs, Appy says. I did not try to put it up. Ah, so even ah, the pigs, yeah. Even the pigs. Ah. On dogs, Muhammad hated dogs. All of them were trying. Apparently to save Ibrahim, but the little house lizard, the little gecko, that noxious little <laughs> creature, according to Muhammad's words, he was trying to it like sneakily, like the little little thing that it was from the corner, trying to blow it out, blow it, make it hotter. Yeah, <sighs> but every every animal was 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 trying to get rid of or extinguish this this fire, and the geckos were blowing on it. Okay, that's that's what they were doing. Uh, they were bringing buckets of water. <laughs> okay, yeah. So every animal. Um, and where were the human beings? Like, remember, it was the unbelievers who put him on the fire. Where were they? As all the animals were rushing around trying to put out the fire. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. This is crazy. Were they I'm in a, a zoo? I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think of like... a zoo. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm like envisioning like Noah's Ark, you know, like you know, like two and all the animals <laughs> going on two by two. I mentioned I'm thinking all the animals on Earth, right? That, that's what it says, right? So that's crazy. <laughs> they all rush to him. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> there wasn't. There didn't exist any animals. Any animal that was on the Earth that did not try to put it out, apart from the house lizards, apart from the geckos. Okay. Well, imagine if there's a false prophet that comes in our day, starts telling stories like this. Yeah. Do you think anyone would follow him? Uh, I, I wonder how people follow Muhammad. I mean, honestly, like, we, we, what we see is that very, very, very intelligent people can be unbelievers, can be Muslims. But when they start thinking about God or start thinking about religion, you can see that they're really entrapped by the devil. No matter how smart or intelligent they are, they could be experts in the fields that they work in or they could be very proficient in what they do. But once you start talking to them about God, you can see that the devil has them blinded. So whether it's today or 1400 years ago, the devil is blinding people. And what we see is that these people who believe in this who don't even understand the implications that the very people who are objecting to us and our faith, the very people who are objecting to us against our faith and saying that it's unfair for, you know, sinners to put their sins on other people or, and, you know, or for us in particular, putting our sins on Jesus, taking our sins on himself, as Isaiah 53 says, as Jesus himself says that he's going to do in the prophecies and all throughout the Bible, he's going to take our sins. He's going to take our sins on himself. The people, the Muslims who are objecting to that actually have it in their own books. So I say, if you have a religion telling you to kill geckos, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't get to challenge the merits of anything. Like seriously, if you believe in a religion that tells you to do that because it blew on some fire, this little cute little thing thousands of years ago you don't get <laughs> you mm. don't get to challenge the merits of anything if you believe in that nonsense like seriously you leave islam fine you can challenge whatever merits but if you believe in that and those uh, little fairy tales i'm sorry you, you've just you've just lost all credibility you yeah. don't have the right i, I, I want to also know so our, our big our big kind of like you know intention for bringing this up is we want to show parallels and inconsistencies on muslims when they're objecting to our faith and show them that even in their religion they have this concept where sins can be transferred and guilt can be transferred onto a third party that's our main thing but there are all these other questions that we have what i want to know uh, maybe like a, like this is like a not even a secondary is like very like you know tertiary kind of question is that <laughs> How did Muhammad get this revelation? Like, like, did Gabriel come to him one day and was just like, "Hey, do you see these geckos on the ground?" <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to know, like, how this happened. Like, what's the what's the reason for this? Um, because he's not saying like, like there are other lies that he tells about Abraham, and he lies about Abraham saying, you know, Abraham did not lie except for these three, you know. So he's saying now 
like he's getting some information uh, is he like getting this from people and then just believing that it's true and then Allah just puts a stamp on it or is Gabriel actually coming to him and revealing I want to know from the Muslims how, how did Muhammad receive this particular quote unquote rev revelation um, I'm going to borrow the American Southern accent ain't no revelation <laughs> yeah what what it is is he didn't like them right he didn't like these creatures so he said you know what let me play with these little bedouins and believe everything i say uh, i don't like them around my house you know what yeah you get points in, in paradise if you uh, mm. if you kill them and he just he's just laughing at them yeah he's just laughing at them and mm -hmm. you know for aisha she's a child okay let me get some points for the hereafter let me go get a spear to kill the gecko because it was wrong thousands of years ago like, come on, man. <laughs> the guy just, he, he did the same thing with dogs. You know? Yeah. Dogs out of the house. and um, Yeah, he didn't like them. I like your theory. It's a really good theory, actually. So, Muhammad didn't like these little things crawling around his house. And so, he tells a bunch of people that follow him, Hey, you start killing them, you get good points. You get some hasanats. You get, like, these good deed points. You're going to get some really good points. And guess what? If you kill on the first strike, you get 100 points. <laughs> and yeah. there's, a, there's a reward for second place, too, and third yeah. place. So yeah, because then he has he... all these people like surrounding <laughs> his house. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't want a big old mess when they're trying yeah. to kill him. They say, okay, you kill them the first, from the first blow, you get more points. <laughs> oh, we got somebody on the line. Okay, Muhammad Khan. Okay, let's bring uh, Muhammad Khan up. Let's uh, go back to our screens here. All right, so welcome, Muhammad. Thank you for joining us today. He's on mute. Like, yo, yo, fuck your mother, you. Okay, well, you forgot to say Sadaq Allahu Azim at the end. Thank you for yeah. reciting the Quran to us. Um, but unfortunately, this is not the type of stream for you. Yeah, you see, you see the the lovely spirit of Islam. Mm. This is the. Is this the morality that your prophet teaches you? Yeah, well, he was actually just reciting the Quran for us. That's what he was doing. You do know that you're representing Islam when you come. Your name is Muhammad Khan. You're mm -hmm. not really making your religion look very good, are you? I, I actually, me, I got excited. I'm like, man, we've got, a, we finally got a Muslim up I here. Know. But, I yeah. thought we were gonna get an answer. I thought so too. Muhammad Khan, the the with this hero of Islam. Well, what does he do? He starts reciting um, Quran to us. And they say you can't make anything like the Quran. Well, he just did. You think anyway. you're going to convert us? You think we go, we'll say, oh, let's, let's take Shahada. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Mashallah. yeah, convince me, brother. I see the light. <laughs> uh, we have the same sentiment here from, from Rick, soldier of God. <laughs> wow, he really made me think yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, we all want to convert. Yeah. Get a spear in my house. But unfortunately, I, I, I don't a have a spear in the house. <laughs> Yeah, we want to get the good spares to get them in one hit. So we, we want to get lots of good deeds. That's what you call it, submission to. Yes, thank you, Sola. <laughs> All right. Um, so with that being said, there is still opportunity for Muslims to come in and answer the questions. You don't have to answer all of the questions, but at least try to answer some of the questions that we've asked so far. We'll even let you pick which question you want to address. So we do have a priority. There's, you know, we're prioritizing certain questions that we have, but there's a lot of questions that have been asked and we've been showing them on the screen as well from the chat. So Muslims are more than welcome to join and we would like them to, you know, please address the topic and, you know, don't try to recite the Quran to us. We, we don't need the Quran being recited. Okay. Um, I got another one. It, probably the same guy, but let's try it. Okay, let's see. Okay, Abdul, welcome. Yeah, I would like to. Uh, it's the same guy. Okay. So, um, he's going to keep changing his name and coming back. Um, this is, a, yeah, a very good way to try to spread your religion. Good way to try to spread your religion. I've got another question, brother. Uh-huh. So, you know how... Allah and Muhammad, they hate geckos because of what they did to Abraham. Ibrahim. Allegedly did Abraham. Allegedly. <laughs> Actually, we know, I shouldn't say allegedly because we know this, this story is a myth of fabrication, which never happened, but which Muhammad said did to Abraham, yeah? And so now Muslims are commanded to kill them. Um, why Why did Allah give them the job? Why didn't he just, uh, you know, destroy all of them instead of 
telling them to get killed from the, you know, kill them from the first blow, second blow, third blow with points. Could have just destroyed it all, uh, destroyed, destroyed it themselves, destroyed them himself. Yeah, he, he could have, he could have, but Muhammad, you know, then he would have picked something else. Let's see, Muhammad, Muhammad doesn't like, uh, like this other type of animal coming into his house or into his tents, right? Maybe he doesn't like this, uh, this other type of animal coming in. And we, we know what Muhammad thought about, you know, black dogs and, you know, dogs, and we know that. Uh, but he also taught the same thing with these geckos. So I think if it wasn't the gecko's uh, sister, it would have been something else. It would, he would have just, you know, just whatever he didn't like, just basically kill it. If you can't, so, if you can't force it to convert, then kill it. <laughs> well, he could have just said, "Look, I don't like them; they scare me at night or something. Just kill them for me. I'm the prophet of God." Instead of making all this stuff up, <laughs> I, you know? I don't know. I don't know how far his story would have gotten went because you know he's selling it here. He's saying you're getting points for this, right? Let, let's go back to the um, to the other hadith where it mentions the um, the amount of points you get for this. So right here, um, the messenger of Allah said, if anyone kills a chameleon, a gecko, a small lizard, with the first blow, a hundred good deeds will be recorded for him. Okay, then you get lesser points for hitting it, killing it in two strikes, three strikes. Now, if you're at four strikes and you didn't kill it yet, I mean, let's just remind ourselves again, like they're very small, oh, very yeah. cute. So if it takes you four hits, Muhammad's like, you know what? You're not a good jihadi, and <laughs> you don't get any points for that. <laughs> yeah, you need to be strong enough. You know, do do um, go to the gym. Make sure you're yeah. Your yeah. Are if you can't get in three hits, then it's done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What happens? You know, if you do it in four hits, how many? He doesn't say after the third blow how many reward. I I don't know. I think he's just like, you're not going to be on the battlefield with me if you can't kill it in three hits. I don't know. <laughs> so the scripture says the better question is why Allah wants unbelievers to be killed whereas it is he who made them like that. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, I came to say uh, it's probably that guy again, right, sister? Should we, should we try I, it? I don't, or... I don't know if it is. I don't know. Okay, I can't, I can't really read the full name. I came to say Islam is superior. Okay, that's what it says. Okay. All right, um, Mr. or Mrs. Islam or Miss Islam? Go ahead. Hello. 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 Yeah, I come to say I come to say Islam is more superior than Christianity because Christianity is a fake religion. Okay. Is that all you want to say? No, I want to say more. Um, Jesus was never God; he was a prophet. Okay, okay, okay. So, do you have an answer to our questions about your prophet command you to kill geckos? What? Why did your prophet command you to kill geckos? What's a gecko? A small lizard. This is what a gecko is. We'll show you. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, cause yeah. Um, because um, uh, they traitors in it. They betrayed um um. I forgot the proper name in it. Abraham, the, right? The traitors. <laughs> the traitors. Ah, oh, he's just a joker. Okay. He's a tra they're traitors, yeah. in it. <laughs> yeah. I think one of them is a traitor. The ones now are innocent. They haven't done anything to any prophet. Yeah. Yeah. So, if we can, if we can get any serious Muslim to join us, you're more than welcome to join us. We would like you to actually address our questions and what your prophet said. And, you know, we, we have a number of questions that we want to ask based on this teaching. So um, was he laughing at his own religion? Yeah, uh, that's what well, that's what Muslims tend to do. They tend to laugh at their own religion. Eventually, what you're going to see um, Islam, which is not superior, because, by the way, your Quran says that the followers of Jesus will be made superior until the day of resurrection, chapter 3, verse 55. Right, sister? It's chapter 3, verse 55? Uh, right. Yeah, so 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 your name is incorrect, even from the Quran. The followers of Jesus will be made superior until the day of resurrection. And you'll eventually laugh yourself out of Islam. That's okay? really sad. He was laughing yeah. at it. Because he said, all geckos are traitors. Yeah. 
you 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 learn something new every day, brother. Apparently, the traitors, those cute little things. Yeah, but but that's happening thousands of years ago, right? Like if if you know if, if this thing even happened, which we know it didn't happen, but if it happened, these would have been geckos that were local to Abraham in his time. Which remember, I mentioned their lifespan is not thousands of years; it's only fifteen years, thirty years, or something like that. Nice. So. After 30 years, if the fire didn't kill them already in Abraham's time, which, you know, supposedly happened, which we know didn't happen. But if it did happen, the fire didn't kill them, then they would have been dead in, let's say, 30 years max. They would have been dead. They would have been gone. So why are lizards or geckos being commanded to be killed because of what these lizards did thousands of years ago in Abraham's time? And how can a gecko know what it's doing? It's just, it's just an, a lizard. lizard. It's just an animal. It doesn't know yeah. who Abraham is. It doesn't know anything. And its descendants, they don't know what their forefathers did a few thousand years ago. And this is all like really stupid. I'm sorry. Like <laughs> even children will laugh at this. Even he laughed at it. Yeah, he did. The Muslim laughed at it. So, yeah, so we, we have a correction on the lifespan here. Um, 15 years unless they eat Quran. So then they become eternal like like Aisha's sheep. Oh. <laughs> eternal. eternal sheep. Well, I don't I don't think it was eternal. I think it just went through the digestive system of the sheep and back out into nature. If you know, if you catch my drip. Yeah. I'm officially convinced that Islam is almost officially perishing. Yeah, so yeah, you guys can see even Muslims are coming in here and laughing at the religion. Uh, mm -hmm. So what can we say? If Muslims themselves are laughing at their religion, then, you know, that's like, what can we do? We're just pointing you to the sources. If you, if you want to laugh, you can laugh. If you want to defend it, you can. If you want to give answers to the questions we have, we welcome you to. That's why we have the, the link posted. We invite you to come join us. And any Muslims who are listening um, right now, who are actually sane, you know, who are not deficient in the mind, um, how can you follow something so silly and laughable? Like, you're better than this. So the reason we are putting all these things up, um, first of all, by the way, you will not go to a mosque, you will not find a sheikh or an imam talking about this. Even though Sahih Hadiths, we found so many, not just the ones that brother showed narrated over and over and over again Muhammad hated geckos asked people to kill them for some sin that happened thousands of years ago by another one by another lizard you will never hear an imam or a sheikh talking about this or commanding Muslims as you should to follow the command of Muhammad and kill them because they they know if they t say this people will laugh and leave the mosque so we're telling you now they're hiding these stories if you're Muslim listening please leave that religion it's it's a laugh it's a joke yeah. And you're putting your trust in it for when you die. This is really dangerous. Please leave it. It's a joke. That's all. Go on, bro. Yeah, thank you so much, sister. Now, as as our sister mentioned, there are numerous hadith on this topic. So I'm just going to just scroll through, do a quick scroll. So you can all see. One, two, three. Three. I mean, you have a, a whole bunch of them. Four, five, six, seven. There's, there's a whole bunch of them just on Sunnah.com, and then you can go to websites that have corpuses of Quran. Uh, sorry, of, of the Hadith in Arabic that is even more extensive than Sunnah.com because it's uh, there are some material that's not translated that's even even greater than this. So there are so 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 many Hadith on this topic. On the gecko, yeah, gecko. Yes. Gekko's like really occupied Muhammad's mind for him yeah. to talk about it that much and to be narrated by that many people. Yeah. Uh, we got another one. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's the same guy, but we'll, like, we'll okay, maybe it's not. Um, if if it is though, we'll just I guess we'll just um wrap up afterwards. But uh, let's see. Okay, so Kelly, you welcome. Hello. How are you? Okay. What do you want me to answer? Yeah. So. I don't know. Um, is this? Do you think you're defending your religion by doing this? Yeah, I'm going to defend my religion, and um, yeah, um, yeah. Okay, he's just he's just a joker. Okay, <laughs> uh, we're not going to tolerate um, trolls. Trolls, jokers, yeah. people who swear. 
this is a um, you know a respectable stream. Yeah, thank you, sister. Okay, so I um I don't think we're gonna get uh, Muslims joining us tonight. Uh, so what we'll do is maybe just take some more comments um from from the live chat if if anyone um. Uh, any of the Christians would like to join in, maybe you want to share something, or maybe you want to, maybe you want to take a swing at some of the questions. Uh, maybe we would like to hear what you have to say. You guys can join in as well. Um, if not, um, we'll, we'll just kind of summarize the points again, and then we will, uh, you know, wrap up and uh, conclude the stream. So um, until then, uh, we'll give people a few minutes. Uh, thank you, Phil, for posting the link and uh, everyone else for being with us again. So, uh, yeah, so what do you think, sister? I think this is a, f a false prophet playing a game with his followers. Y you know what? I really think sometimes Muhammad said, you know what? Let me just ask them the silliest things and see if they follow me. And unfortunately, they did. And they believed him. And people in this century now, 1400 years later, still do, which breaks my heart. He, for some reason, had an issue against this poor little cute little creature called the gecko, the little lizard, and made up a story, apparently thousands of years before him, that that little creature did something wrong. And for that reason, all Muslims must kill house lizards. Um, because it apparently blew on the fire to stir it up when all the other animals were trying to put it, put the fire out. Silliest story ever. But not only that, all geckos must now suffer until today. And um, this is ironic f for many reasons. One is Muslims say, and even the Quran says, that no bearer of sins can bear the sin of another. But for some reason, Muhammad <laughs> said that all ge geckos, all house lizards must suffer for the sin of the one that did the, 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 the sin thousands of years before. It's ironic, it's silly, it's stupid, it's funny. Even We even had Muslims laugh at it on the, on, on the stream, for goodness sake. And I say, enough of this nonsense. It's, this religion belongs in the fairy tales. It belongs in the fairy tale books. Even if you tell the story to children, they won't believe you. It's so stupid. But people still take it seriously enough to put their eternity on it. Like They, they really believe this guy, even now, which is amazing. Please leave it. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. You will never hear such nonsense come out of his mouth, ever. He says the truth, and uh, he's worthy to be followed rather than this silly 7th century, funny little superstitious little man who hated geckos for no reason. But <laughs> Over to you. Thank you so much, sister. Um, how do you say it's, he's the 7th century uh, illiterate Bedouin, right? That, that's... Yeah, it's, uh, I call him... The yeah, seventh century illiterate Bedouin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we'll just made things up. Just made things know, up. A, I'm thinking he was just having a laugh at that point, you know. Yeah, and I, I, I think you, you almost convinced me that he was just trying to get his house cleaned up from geckos. Honestly, <laughs> I mean, he he did this with other things, like when yeah. he didn't want people to come over for dinner. He right. Said, you know, those, those verses don't <laughs> come over. Don't stay too long. Uh, the the messenger hates it, but Allah doesn't yeah. hate it. Don't wait for food to be cooked. Mm. Yeah. You know, beforehand. yeah like, Muhammad was too shy to say it to you but Allah will say it to you <laughs> right and when he wanted women uh, to gift themselves to him he didn't want to pay no dowry uh, believing women can, can do yeah. it okay, but other people can't do it like this so Aisha, obvious. she said you know your lord is so he ha he hastens to follow your desires or to, 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 to you know whatever you desire he hastens to, to fulfill it so it's very obvious he just yeah. wanted convenience. He wanted to sort his little problems day of daily life out. Mm. And he brought God into it. Yeah, and people so, still believe him. Yeah, so he lied about... Uh, first of all, there's no reward for killing geckos. Second, Abra Abraham has nothing to do... This has nothing to do with Abraham. He didn't get this from Abraham. Muhammad lied to you about geckos. He lied to you about Abraham. He lied to you about God. Most importantly, he lied to you about Jesus. And um, as his sister said, this is fundamental thing that muslims deny that they say like like the quran even says that a bearer of burdens does not bear the burdens of others well in this case you do have geckos taught by your own prophet that bear the burdens of their ancestors so 
there's actually only one, only one who can take your sins. All you need to do is accept him. All you need to do is receive the sacrifice that he made for you. All you need to do is repent and believe. And that's Jesus Christ. And he died. He took your sins. He took all of our sins. He rose from the dead three days later. And all you need to do is repent and believe in him. There's no gecko that took the sins of another gecko. But God did take on human flesh and took on the sins of all humanity. And I would encourage people to read Isaiah chapter 53. And Jesus himself saying that he gave his life as a ransom for many. So, Sister, um, any uh, concluding remarks or should we... And yeah, the, um, uh, yes, I think he said it perfectly. I don't want to add to that. Uh, I don't want that to be the last thing. Yeah. All right, we have a jihadi with us. We can't put it on screen, though. Otherwise, YouTube will take down the video. But um, we have a jihadi with us on screen who's yeah, afraid to a, show he's himself. Got gun, he's got a gun up. But yeah. yeah. Yep. We know that's what your religion is all about. God bless you. And the yep. Lord Jesus Christ tells us to love you and still tell you the truth because even if you kill the body, you cannot kill the soul. I mean, and once we both die, which we both will, all of us will, you will, we, you will find out where you end up and it won't be good. Yes. Okay. All Thank right. You. So I just want to be clear. Just, oh, we have another. Uh, we just got to bring this person in the chat. Too. Okay. Thank you, Mods, for taking care of that guy. Um, yeah. So um, thank you, sister, for. Um, the stream tonight. Uh, maybe next time we will get Muslims to join us. Maybe not, but Jesus remains Lord. Islam remains false. And the only way to salvation is through the truth, through Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. So thank you all. God bless. God bless you, sister. Thank you so much.